Hello everyone, you know the drill by now. And uh, sorry, this video came out a little later than it should have because I uh, forgot to record my thoughts after the second episode aired. So it's coming up today instead of, I think it was yesterday or something, I forget when. Anyway, we're talking about the League of Nations Air Force Aviation Magical Band Luminous Witches. Or we can just call it Luminous Witches and get done with it. Anyway. This is set in the same universe, same world, as Strike Witches, as you can tell by the girls with the cat ears and the Night Witch in the middle of them here. And, well, think of it as, like, uh, them doing idle UFO shows, or is it UFO? I think it's UFO, right? Uh, the shows that people do over in War Zones for Troops. They're called the UFO shows, right? Anyway, don't worry. That's not important. What is important is... I honestly don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's like Strike Witches. Um, they have the propeller feet things going on when they're doing their performances. Although, two episodes in, they have not yet really done a performance. Um, there has been some singing, don't get me wrong. Most of it's just been the girls meeting up, introducing the characters, and everything like that. Uh, yeah. And it's pretty Strike Witchy, I guess. It, it reminds me of the first Strike Witches, where all the, the main characters all had like some sort of like fault with them, right? Like none of them were like really the best people. You know, you had a. <clears throat> Sonia V. Litviark, who was tired and slept all the time. Uh, you had Lucchini, who was just rambunctious and all that. And, uh, yeah. And all these characters also have problems and, and stuff like that, which is why they transferred from the normal military into the flight academy thing here. So from left to right, let me see if I remember all their problems. So far left... We have a girl who gets seasick, so she can't do stuff, and she was posted in the Navy. That's stupid. The other one here to the next left, um, I don't remember exactly what was wrong with her. I can't remember. Um, the other one to the right, she doesn't really get specified what's wrong with her, I don't think. Um, so it's, it's just up in the air. She's one of the original members of the band who is also paired with the, uh, uh, cat girl with the gray hair in the middle right. Uh, but we'll get to her in a moment. Next we have the other gal here to the right, which is just the left of the girl with the headphone looking things. And she, uh, her problem <clears throat> is that she just really has a big crush on this gray haired lady. The short gray haired lady. Yep, that's that's her problem. Literally, that's that's all it is. She just uh, really wants to be a fan of her, I guess you could say. <laughs> Next, you have the girl in the middle who is a night witch, and her problem is that she never even heard about strike witches or witches or anything like that before. She just happened to have a um, familiar, happened to be a night witch. Although I guess she cannot like send signals. Like you know how white night witches can like communicate back and forth with their uh, antenna stuff? Well, she can only receive, she can't send, apparently is how it works or is what they're saying. Uh, then the girl to the right of her, the, uh, maybe I should, <clears throat> so we're currently this girl, actually let's get, let's get like blue, blue would work better. This girl right here. That's a little bit too much now, hold on. This girl here. Okay, so this one, her problem is that she cannot aim. She just cannot hit targets. That's all it is. She uh, can't aim with the crap. Next up, this girl. Uh, it's not really mentioned exactly what it is. She used to be a very good strike witch, but then I think she got injured, and then she was put back to be part of this band thing. And that's her problem. Next, we have this gal here, and she likes to sleep. She has a very hard time waking up in the mornings. 
and as such, she is frequently like late for um, training and all that, and so they transferred into the band. It's essentially what happened there. Next up, we have the last girl here, who is a rambunctious one, just like Francesca Lucchini. And her problem is that they uh, leave her at the base when they do operations because she has issues where she uh, can, like, how, how was it phrased? I'm trying to remember. Her, like, familiar that they have to transform into the Strike Witch, it's a Kiwi word, and... For some reason, it causes like her to either have no magic or too much magic, and so she'll frequently either not be able to fly at all, or she'll have to like fly around all day to burn off all the excess energy she has. Um, and so they just kind of leave her back at base to guard it or something. It's funny. Anyway, that's pretty much everyone. Like I said, I don't remember exactly what the uh, what, what this girl's deal is. I remember one of them has issues with, like, fainting. Maybe it was also her who had issues with fainting in, like, the sky and stuff. But whatever, they're all cute. That's what you guys care about. You don't care about their nonsense. Anyway, <clears throat> the story seems to be about them going around trying to put smiles on people's faces by doing this and uh, all that. There's also a, like, subplot of the, the main girl in the middle. This one right here. She wants to find uh, her familiar's, like, family and where they came from or something? I don't know. That's kind of what she's doing because she does not understand what witches are. And so they're like, you just join the band or something. And I don't know. It was weird. They were just like, hey, come sing with us. And she was like, okay. And that's how it happened. So, uh, yeah. Weird stuff. Anyway. Also, from some of the stuff I've seen, I think they might be using CG at parts, which might turn me off. Uh, I also don't like idle stuff to begin with anyway, <clears throat> but I like Strike Witches, although I've only seen the original Strike Witches and not anything else after that. So there's like a bunch of other anime that I've not seen regarding Strike Witches. And in fact, even in the first Strike Witches, I don't remember them having familiars. So yeah. Yeah. But apparently in order to transform, they use familiars and then they get their like animal ears and tails because of what their familiars animal is like. But it's also weird because the Kiwi girl gets ears, but it doesn't have ears. And it's like, what do you mean? Anyway, yeah, that's kind of what's going on um, with this one. I don't know if I'll continue watching it all the way through to the season end, but... I thought it was something I should include here. Also, because it was not necessarily a sequel to Strike Witches, so I usually don't give sequels, you know, my first impression, because it's a sequel. But this one was different enough from the other Strike Witches. I felt like it deserved a little bit of discussion, you know what I mean? Anyway, that's all from me, everyone. Thank you for listening. Until next time, I will catch you all later. Bye for now.